Okay, so here we go. It's about five in the evening now. And the guys have placed many of the uh, bits of steel work. And uh, we salvaged some boards from the old farmhouse, which is in the middle of the frame there. We tore up the floorboards upstairs in that to get some boards to um, for the formwork here. So that was as many as they thought they could take at the time. So we're short a few for over here. So that's cool. Uh, I don't know how long they're happy to leave these boarded. They may even pop them off tomorrow. I don't know. That's to be seen. But when that happens, those boards will be used along the left hand wall and that which is the front wall going out onto the road. Um, that one piece of steelwork's not there in place. It's still here down in the rubber trees, but that'll come out tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, so all looking good and we're progressing. And what it's going to be, well, you have to stay tuned to find out. <laughs> okay, guys, all the best. Okay, end of the third day. And the guys are backing up. But this afternoon they... This afternoon they're working on the steel work. They're doing the columns. All of the formwork has been completed. So we have the concrete base foundation. The concrete floor will not be going in for a while. Neither will the walls be going up for a while. The columns will be put in and the superstructure for the roof will go on. Then at that point we will obviously looking at backfilling this space on the floor and compacting it and then it will be possible to put the concrete pad down. We also will have to sheet, put the sheeting on the roof. That may possibly come before the concrete goes down, which happens a lot because then there is a shaded area, obviously, to work on the concrete pad and the compaction and so on. So um, probably a better way around of doing it, but we'll see what this guy's preference is. And we'll go from there. But now we're packing up for the night. And we'll be back again tomorrow. So uh, see you tomorrow, guys. <laughs>